Hello everyone. In the last session, we will discuss about the armature reaction. Now we will continue the armature reaction here. In the last session, we discussed about how the magnetization and demagnetization is possible and how the flux and the flux density waveforms will be deserted. Now we will continue the next things. So before understanding this, we should discuss two important things that is GNA and another important thing is EMNA. What is GNA means? It is geometrically neutral axis name itself geometrically neutral axis so we will look into this so what is this axis we have to discuss here which is perpendicular to the main field flux or perpendicular to the direct axis so look at here generally this is called this from north to south is called the direct axis Generally, we can name it as the direct axis. Okay. And for this perpendicular, this is perpendicular to this direct axis is known as the GNA. So, perpendicular of this axis is, this is the point, is called a GNA. That is the geometrically neutral axis. Yes. The GNA itself the quadrature axis. So the another name is this is the quadrature axis because it is perpendicular to the direct axis. What is what is the meaning of direct axis? We should look at here. So first direct axis is called as the this is known as the flux axis. Flux axis. Direct axis means uh, this axis between north pole to south pole if the two poles are there and if the four poles are there we have two north poles and south poles we have the two direct axis is there so for this which have perpendicular that is called as the quadrature axis yes the GNA can also be called as the brush axis so if you observe clearly so we have two things here this is the one thing this is the one thing and another thing is like this these two are the brushes this is the brush one and the brush two what are the importance of the brushes brushes is the very important part of the DC machines that is it is useful to collect the current from the DC generator or supply the current to the DC motor so that's why it is called as the brush axis because these are arranged across the brushes because brushes are always placed along the GNA so these are placed along the GNA GNA can also be called as axis of commutation we can name it as the axis of commutation so what is the meaning of commutation so we should discuss we already discussed in the uh, parts of the DC machine there Commutation is the process which is used to which is used to convert AC to DC or DC to AC which is used to convert AC to DC or DC to AC. This process is known as the commutation that means AC power to DC power DC power to AC power. So here also commutation at the brushes only we are connecting the commutators also here. So that's why it is called the commutation axis, axis of commutation. Because commutation process, commutation process means current reversal. Current reversal means conversion from AC to DC or DC to AC. Takes place along the geometrical neutral axis. Okay. So this is the importance of the geometrical neutral axis. Next. Next important thing is MNA. That is called as magnetically neutral axis the name itself it is a magnetically neutral axis is always perpendicular to the air gap flux under no load condition so just look at here generally this is the geometrically neutral axis that means we have north pole and south pole is here and in between for pole axis the opposite geometrically neutral axis is there 
if the flux is in same path flux is in the same path no problem so geometrical axis and magnetically neutral axis both are the same the same is in this direction okay so magnetically neutral axis is always perpendicular to the air gap flux under load condition under no load condition the mna align with the gna under loaded condition so mna align with the gna generally magnetically neutral axis geometrically neutral axis are same that means so both are in the same axis here but under loaded condition whenever loading is applied mna will shift in the direction of generator rotation so mna will shift in the direction of generator rotation that means so i will give some example so we have the north pole and south pole two poles is applied and this is the armature and this is the this is the armature north pole and south pole we can name it as the we can name it as this is the direct axis actually first thing we can name this is the direct axis is the simple thing and we can name it as a gna geometrically neutral axis and generally geometrically neutral axis and magnetically neutral axis both are in same axis actually this is in the same axis but when it is loaded at the loaded condition it is it is shift with the generator rotation it is shift with the generator rotation means the geometrically neutral magnetically neutral axis is moving like this magnetically neutral axis is moving then the magnetically neutral axis is moving shift with some theta angle so it is in generator rotation it is in the generator rotation that is in clockwise rotation it is clockwise it will have some rotation okay so it will shift with the generator rotation that is the thing only okay every time gna and mna are not in same position whenever it is no loaded uh, at no load condition at no load first thing gna and mna both are in same position both are in both are same but at load condition gna not gna and mna is not same axis mna will shift with some theta angle with the generator rotation generator rotation means that is a clockwise rotation clockwise rotation okay so generator is always clockwise you have to remember the thing and the motor is always anti clockwise direction if you observe any motor that is in anti clockwise direction okay yeah next so we should discuss some points are here we already discussed that points that will recollect all these points at trailing pole trip the armature flux aids the main field flux just we already discussed this point here at this is the trailing pole trip both will be added that is the thing aids the main field flux so the flux will be strengthened flux will be increases that is called as the magnetization we can name it as the process is called the magnetization so always at trailing pole trip magnetization is possible what happened here magnetization is possible at leading pole trip here the armature flux opposes the main feed flux that is called the weakening effect weakening means decreases demagnetization is possible so that's why at a leading pole trip demagnetization is possible demagnetization means flux will be decreases here magnetization means flux will be increases here the flux will be increases 
that is the thing okay and we should discuss one thing that is strengthening effect decreasing weakening effect that so both are same actually just observe here so decreasing flux and increasing flux almost same the average value of the flux will same generally due to that but strengthening effect is will always less than the weakening effect okay increasing increasing flux increasing flux is less than the decreasing flux due to the saturation at the trailing pole trip generally trailing pole trip transition means what happen when the flux is increases we will get the saturation effect saturation effect means at the particular limit only pole will allow the flux after that it will not allow that flux that is called the saturation like this so when the flux is increases it will be fixed there is no increment the emf and the flux okay the average the average flux under each pole decreases due to that the average flux under each pole will be decreases which is said to be demagnetizing effect or of armature reaction that's why we can call it as demagnetizing effect of the armature reaction okay so demagnetization is possible due to that yeah therefore the armature reaction is mainly due to the saturation at the saturation at the trailing pole trip so armature reaction finally the main content of trailing pole trip trailing pole trip due to the trailing pole trip the flux will be decreases yeah flux will be decreases so these are the some important points of the armature reaction that is gna mna and again some important points i hope all of you understand the session thank you